and you kids in the church know that, is spelling. I am horrible <laughs> at spelling. You know that. And the reason why is because when I was your age, I did not apply myself to do my spelling words. I did not memorize them. I did not study. So now as an adult, as old as I am, luckily I am a, a re um, avid reader, which means I read a lot. So I know a lot of words. So if I have a big word that I want to say, like let's say I want to use efficacy, right? I know what efficacy is, but I might not know how to spell it just because I'm not a good speller. It's not funny. That's not funny because you're laughing at me, right? I need you to sit up first and I need you to stop laughing, right? It's not funny. I'm telling you my problem as an adult so that you can learn as a child in your age now not to make the same mistakes I did, not to laugh at me at what I had done wrong, but to learn from my mistakes so you don't do the same thing. All right? Because spelling might be my problem, but math might be yours, English might be yours. You might have a problem also that you do not apply yourself to, and when you get older, you will suffer from it. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So, the point is, if you do not apply yourself when you're young, when you're little, when you have the time to, when you get older, when you get older, it's going to be hard for you. And people will laugh at you. I have never been laughed at because I am that smart. I do read a lot. And I know other words that I can use. My vocabulary is extremely vast, extremely vast. So if I want to use a certain word that I don't know how to spell, I can find another word that, it, that I do know how to spell to use in its place. So no one will have to know my lack. But do I not feel my lack? I feel it, and it saddens me all the time that I have to constantly you know, be racking my brain and, or, or afraid that what if someone reads this and then they see and they're like, Nick of what? You? Right? Because I'm a nurse. I have two businesses. You know, I'm, you know, I, I teach. Um, I have all of these things I'm supposed to do all, and yet I don't know how to spell. Right? I'm a, hey, on top of that, I'm a writer. Right? I write books and I don't know how to spell. So it's a horrific thing for me. But I'm telling you because I don't want you to go through the same thing. Right? So please, when it's time to study, Study. There are a lot of you who don't like to read. There are a lot of you who don't like math. Who, okay, that's good. So let's go around and talk about which subject you like best. Real quick, real quick. Music. Performing arts. Art. Performing arts. Subject you like best. ELA. Subject you like best. Oh, you've gotten into. 
Um, then it says to break your responsibility responsibilities into manageable pieces, right? So don't go full throat into just the huge project, but break it up so that you get little tasks done first, or the harder tasks done first, and then the little ones afterwards. That way it won't look too big and too overwhelming for you, and you can manage it a bit more. Okay, so give me an example. You said your parents? Yeah. So give me an example of a hard task you have. Why didn't you do it? Don't say not for nothing. That's Maybe true. it's not big enough for you, but it's very frustrating after talking once, twice, three times for the same reason. 
Maybe right, so I take different. that back. I do take that back because sometimes they're not, they're not for that, us, that they're that for problem. us as children um, or young people, we tend to think it's for nothing. That's what our thought is. But obviously, it's usually for some reason. Whether it is you or it is something else that caused them to be upset, they, like, you know, like Miss Gabriel said, they're not crazy. There is a reason why they are upset. So if you can figure out what the reason is, if you are the reason and you can fix it, fix it. If you're not the reason and they're upset for something else and you just happen to be in the way, then that's not something you can control. But know that, you know, everybody knows their parents love them and they're not gonna harm them for no reason, right? So once you know your parents love you, then you can take whatever heat comes your way. But if you can do something